Hello nerds. Welcome to our channel once again. Today we are going to learn about Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. Howard Gardner was an American cognitive psychologist and author best known for his theory of multiple intelligences. This theory proposes differentiating human intelligence into specific modalities rather than defining intelligence as a single general ability. Howard Gardner described eight abilities which manifest multiple intelligences in his book Frames of Mind The Theory of Multiple Intelligences which was published in 1983 Mainstream psychology has criticized the theory for its lack of empirical evidence and reliance on subjective assessment Gardner argues that students might have multiple types of intelligence but the study curriculum is based on linguistic intelligence This theory suggests individuals can develop a distinct phase of intelligence. For a cognitive capacity to qualify as an independent intelligence, Gardner posited that it must meet eight specific criteria. 1. Potential for brain isolation by brain damage. 2. Place in evolutionary history. 3. Presence of core operations. 4. Susceptibility to encoding. such as symbolic expression 5 a distinct developmental progression 6 the existence of savants prodigies and other exceptional people 7 support from experimental psychology 8 support from psychometric findings gardner's original theoretical model included seven separate bits of intelligence with an eighth added in 1999 they are 1 linguistic 2 musical 3 logical mathematical 4 visual spatial 5 bodily kinesthetic 6 interpersonal 7 intrapersonal 8 naturalistic now let's discuss them one by one in detail first is linguistic The ability to speak and understand multiple languages is common among people with high verbal linguistic intelligence. They are generally good at reading, writing, telling stories, and memorizing words and dates. Verbal ability is one of their most geloaded abilities. IQ in wise for measures verbal intelligence. They are usually writers, book reviewers, newspapers, and publishers. Second is a musical. It is an area of intelligence with sensitivity to music sounds, rhythms, and tones. A musically intelligent person usually has a good pitch or absolute pitch and can sing, play musical instruments, and compose music. They are sensitive to rhythm, pitch, meter, tone, melody, or timbre. They become singer, composer, drummer. Third one is logical mathematical. This involves logic, reasoning, numbers, abstractions, and critical thinking. It also involves understanding the underlying principles of some causal system. The ability to reason logically is closely related to fluid intelligence and general intelligence of the G factor. They are investigators, software developers, and scientists. Fourth one is visual spatial. The area of the spatial judgment concerns the ability to visualize in the mind's eye. In the intelligence hierarchy, spatial ability is one of the three factors beneath G. They are interested in drawing, photography, 3D modeling, mass media. Fifth is bodily kinesthetic. The core elements of bodily kinesthetic intelligence are control of one's bodily motions and the capacity to handle objects skillfully. It requires timing, a clear sense of a physical action's goal, and the ability to train responses. Physical activities like sports, dance, and making things generally come naturally to them. They are athletes, actors, builders, police officers, dancers, musicians, and soldiers. Sixth one is interpersonal. They are often described by their sensitivity to others' moods, feelings, temperaments, motivations and ability to cooperate to work together as part of a group those with high interpersonal intelligence communicate effectively 
empathize easily with others and may be either leaders or followers. They often enjoy discussion and debate. They eventually become salespersons, politicians, managers, teachers, lecturers, counselors and social workers, instructors, followers and leaders. Seventh is intrapersonal. It involves introspection and self-reflection. It refers to having a deep and thorough understanding of the self, what one's strengths or weaknesses are, what makes one unique, and being able to predict one's reactions or emotions. They are independent learners, creative, intuitive, a strong will and motivated. Eighth one is naturalistic. Not part of Gardner's original seven. He proposed naturalistic intelligence in 1995. They are readily able to identify flora and fauna. It includes hunting, farming, and biological science. This area involves nurturing and relating information to one's natural surroundings. Examples include classifying natural forms such as animal and plant species and rocks and mountain types. So that's all for today. Please subscribe to our channel for new videos. Thanks for watching. See you in our next class.